Hey, welcome back. New details tonight about an online school the University of Arizona acquired back in 2020. Now, earlier this week, a California judge ordered Ashford University and its parent company to pay $22 million in penalties for misleading students. Well, Tucson woman says she fell victim to Ashford's deception. News for Tucson's Rebecca Taylor looks into what's being done for borrowers in tonight's investigation. The judge said Ashford University gave students false information about the school's cost and financial aid in order to persuade them to enroll. Stacy Gibson says she was left with mounting debt and no help finding a job. I believe they ripped a lot of people off. Stacy Sanders Gibson has 90,000 in student loan debt. It's very frustrating. Um, you feel totally abandoned. Her online degree cost 40,000 in 2012, but interest keeps accruing. If I wasn't working for a nonprofit, my student monthly loan would be about to seven to eight hundred dollars a month. She can't buy a house because of it. Gibson blames California based Ashford University and its false promises in the master's program. Um, which was an accelerated program that you would be hmm, given a special person that would help you find a job in the field um, that you were looking, which was um, organizational management and um, nothing. Nothing. While the court awarded $22 million in penalties against Ashford, it did not award restitution for former students like Gibson. But California Attorney General Rob Bonta, who filed the lawsuit, tells the News 4 Tucson investigators the court's findings provide a strong basis for the Department of Education to provide Ashford students with relief from their federal student loans. And we hope Secretary Miguel Cardona will act swiftly to provide this relief. As for the University of Arizona, leadership have said that previous problematic practices by Ashford's parent company, Zovio, will not continue. In a statement to the News 4 Tucson investigators, spokesperson Pam Scott said, the University of Arizona is not liable or responsible for the actions of Ashford University or Zovio. We are working with the U.S. Department of Education, our accreditation bodies, and our governing bodies to bring UAGC into the University of Arizona. I would like for them to reach out to um, the students that they overcharged because I'm pretty sure they're struggling and help them, um, you know, with those student loans, either pay half of them or have them removed do something. It could be some time before the Department of Education makes any moves. A spokesperson for Zovio said they are evaluating options to appeal the court's decision. And if you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kboa.com or call our tip line at 520-955-4444. I'm Rebecca Taylor, News 4 Tucson.